As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Y'all two grown people need to get your house. Right. You had seven years to have told him that. When we fight, who's going to win? You are. I don't ask the questions, I ask them. Yes, ma'am. Raise your right hand. Objective, independent justice. I'm ready to rule. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Leilani Davis is suing her boyfriend's sister, Brenda Masters, in the amount of $1,900. Ms. Davis claims she loaned patio furniture to the defendant and says it was ruined when Ms. Masters carelessly left it uncovered in the rain. Ms. Davis, you are suing Ms. Masters for $1,900 representing the cost of some uh, patio furniture. You say she destroyed it? Yes, ma'am. And you, how do you know this defendant? Uh, she is the sister to my boyfriend. She's, She's my boyfriend's boyfriend sister. sister. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, how long your boyfriend's been your boyfriend? Uh, we've been together four years now. Okay, all right. So what type of relationship did you have before this case, ma'am? Before this case, she and I, we've always had a love-hate relationship. Okay. For four years? For four years, off and on, she okay. just, I don't know, she just doesn't like me. Right. You, you don't like true. her? That is not true. Why does she feel that you don't like her? Um, Why well, would she feel that way? Because we don't, we don't get along. Okay. We have a really hard time establishing boundaries between, between herself and my boyfriend. Okay. So what do you I, mean, like, establishing boundaries? Um, what is she doing she, she shouldn't be doing in your estimation? She calls him all times of night. Right. In the um, middle of the night? Yes. Like, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning? Uh, not quite that late, but... Right. But, um, but what do you say, call him in the middle of the night? What's the middle of the she night? She calls him with all her problems. Right. She wants him to pay for things that he doesn't have any business paying for. Mm -hmm. So do you find yourself relying on your brother a lot for help? Yes, sometimes. He, um, he's very involved with my children. He does hands-on things with them, takes them to parks. He's like them. the father figure to yes, them. Yes, ma'am. And she doesn't like that. Right. Do but you have any children? No, no, we can't afford to have children yet because he's supporting her and her right. children at this time. Oh, you think that if he weren't helping his sister, then you two could have some children? Well, that's why we're here now. Why? Um, due to the fact that she, she's always asking for stuff. So in this situation, she wanted to borrow um, $5,000 for her 8-year-old son's birthday party. You were, and you, she you called did, him. You needed $5,000 for an 8-year-old's birthday party. No, ma'am. Okay. The part, the total of the uh, party was five thousand. My brother and I were going to split the cost mm -hmm. as we always do. Well, for wait, wait, parties. wait. But why are we spending five thousand dollars for an eight-year-old's birthday party? Because this birthday party was the first party slash family gathering that we've had since the pandemic, so right. we were expecting a lot of guests. Right. And so, you thought that we should? How many people? Uh, we were going to feed uh, 150 people. 150 family members. Family. It was and a community event, basically. What do you mean it was a community event? It, it was a community event. 150 people for an eight-year-old's birthday right. party. But I'm not understanding you were bringing your family back together because it was post-COVID. Yes, ma'am. Plus and some of my son's school friends. Right. So why are you call, asking your brother for money? I asked my brother because prior to my son's birthday, we just had Christmas, so... I have two kids. I'm doing everything on my own. I just asked him for a small loan to right. help me out. Oh, the loan is $2,500? Yes, ma'am. But we decided not to go with that party, so right. I had the party at my home. Okay. So you, you, you scaled down to now a party at your house. How yes, much was that party? Um, I paid $1,250. Okay. All right. But, so, but her brother paid $850 of that $1,250. Your brother gave you $850 right. for he the did. party? He did. Okay. And he and he's here, Your Honor, if okay. you would like to ask All him. All right. So how does this furniture get involved? Okay. So after I suggested that she has his birthday party in her backyard, she, um, she asked my boyfriend for the $850 right. to pay for food truck decorations and then she proceeded to ask for um, like tables and chairs and decorations. Right. So how did you get involved with this furniture? Well, after I suggested that she, she had the party in her backyard, right. she asked me if she could borrow my yard furniture. Borrow your yard furniture? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, what kind of furniture was this? Is this? You have pictures? Yes. Let me yes, see the I furniture. Do. You know, you begging and borrowing your way through your life. 
You ever heard the expression, neither a beggar nor a borrower be? You ever heard that expression? I'm not a, Have you ever heard the expression? I have. Okay, when I was growing up, my daddy said, if we can't afford it, you don't borrow it. You just don't become a borrower, and you are a borrower and a beggar. And it's really upsetting that you're planning a $5,000 party for your son, and you're coming up with $2,500, and when it gets brought down to $1,250, you don't even have that. Okay, what, what, what are other people going to sit? Um, I have furniture inside my home, but uh -huh. we were having outdoor activities for right. the children as well, plus right. grilling outside along with the food truck, so I just thought it would look nice, you right. know, to have the patio looking presentable. Coming up on Supreme Justice. Did you go to the park? No, I did not. Why didn't you go to the park? Because we don't get along. And I, I didn't feel that would be appropriate for me to attend a family gathering when I don't feel welcome. And later. What was the conversation? This happened to the car. I need to run to my next appointment. Mm -hmm. What was the conversation? I begged her not to leave the car unattended. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Leilani Davis, who is suing Brenda Masters for property damage. Why would you have even offered her this for? I, I couldn't did, imagine I did not, taking it, my patio furniture that is set up on the, my backyard she put, and loaning it to somebody. She put me on the spot, but I, I didn't How did offer, she put you on the asked. spot? She, she I asked? Felt, I felt pressured, yes. So you agree that she could borrow the furniture? Yes. What happened to the furniture? Did you go to the party? No, I did not. Why didn't you go to the party? Because we don't get along. And I, I didn't feel that would be appropriate for me to attend a family gathering when I don't feel welcome. Okay, so were you invited though? You were invited? By default, and Were yes. you invited? Did yes. she say come? Okay, but you didn't show up. Well she, well, she didn't say come. Her brother said I could come. Okay, so where is he? Is he here? Yes. What's his name? Brian Masters? Brian. Court mm -hmm. calls Brian Masters. Let me hear from him. Come forward and be sworn. Raise your right hand. Right. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I'll be God? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Okay, so stand over there, Brian. So I've heard a whole lot, Brian, about your relationship with your sister. I mean, well, what's the story here? What is the relationship in your eyes? Um, well, I'm very family-oriented, and right. I, I, I love my family a lot. Is it uh, just the two of you? No uh, other siblings? Yeah, it's just us. Okay. You yeah. have any other children? Uh, no. Okay. No, I don't have any children. Well, I heard from your girlfriend that y'all can't even have children because you're so involved in taking care of your sister and her children. Yeah, um, well, their father's not in their life, right. Your Honor, so I just, you know, I try to be a positive mo uh, role model right. for them. All right. Are you going to be prepared to be a positive role model for your own children? Are you going to be yeah, in a absolutely. position? Absolutely. Are you going to be in a financial position, you think? It's probably, it's not the best thing for me to, uh, you know, be taking care of her kids right. like I do. All right, so, and you feel that your relationship can't move forward with your boyfriend mm -hmm. until what? What do you expect to happen? Um, I'm expecting for us to start our own life together. Right. But until he establishes boundaries with his family, we can't do that. And what do those boundaries look like to you? Well, for one, she shouldn't be asking to borrow my patio furniture well, for you his birthday no. party. Right. Right. You could have said, no, you can't borrow my patio furniture. I was trying to be nice. Right. Well, then you're going to always try to be nice. Right. Um, you're suing for the $1,900 for this furniture. What happened to this furniture? I asked her to remove the pillows from the furniture. Right. When Did it you started remove to the rain. pillows? Yes, ma'am. And do what with them? I placed them back inside the house. Okay, so she did that? Mm hmm Okay, yes, yeah, so what, what happened to the furniture? Well, I sent covering for it in case of the rain, which right. I asked um, Brian to, to let her know, which he did. Right. And um, it took two months for me to get my furniture back. Why did it take you two months to get your furniture back? Why didn't she get her furniture back, like, right after? Did y'all have the party? Yes, ma'am. Why didn't she get her furniture back right after the party? I told her she was more than welcome to come pick it well, up. Well, how'd you get the furniture? My brother Brian, her boyfriend, he brought it to I the house. Okay, but did you ask Brian to bring it? Yes, ma'am. Did you say, Brian, come get it? Yes, ma'am. You did? You kept telling him, come get the furniture? I told both of them. Okay, and they would never come get it. Why didn't you go get the furniture? That's I'm a, not... I'm a truck driver, Your Honor. And right. I, I was over the road, so... Uh -huh. So, why didn't you go pick up the furniture? 
Because her and I arrangement was for her to return my patio furniture right. back to so me. So nobody did anything and we just left the furniture for two months? Pretty much. And then it looked like that. This table is got... Before and after photo. Right. All right. And then the chair is before and after. Mm -hmm. And then the table and chairs. So where's the proof of the cost of the table and of the chair? The receipt from last um, January is right there. Okay. So... I'm, I'm the two chairs are three hundred dollars. The the ones that got ruined. You're willing to do what? I'm 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 willing to to compromise and take eighty five percent of what I paid for them. Uh -huh. But I believe I should oh, be how paid. How generous of you! Right. Okay. So you're saying you're willing to take uh, eighty five percent of nineteen hundred dollars. So you basically are willing to accept sixteen hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. You're gonna get less than that, <laughs> if anything, actually. So 845 minus 600 is 245 is probably the most on the value of the table and another $300 for those lounge chairs, which makes it $545. You borrowed it. When you needed it, you made sure it got there. And you let two months go by. You must have somebody you could have called. You got a call? Yes, ma'am. You could have been taking the stuff back one chair at a time. What do you learn from this, Ms. Masters? Your Honor, I learned two things today. One, you ever heard of a home record? She's a family record because she always does things to divide my brother and I. Right. And number two, never ever to ask either one of them for anything else. That may be the biggest thing you've learned. Don't ask them for nothing and stop borrowing and begging. But you owe her $545. Because you had an obligation to get that stuff back to her, her furniture, in the condition in which you got it. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $545. Good luck to you. All rise. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $545. I can't believe you let your sister call me a homewrecker. I pay no attention to her. She ain't got no man. I feel like the judge was biased. Everyone saw that Leilani hates my brother and I's relationship. Coming up. You told her to check the car because you knew you had stuff in there. Yes, ma'am. So when you said check the car, why didn't you say check for the bottles of wine that I have in there? That's a good point, Your Honor. I probably should have let her know. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Terry Stark is suing her cousin Donna Mitchell in the amount of $510. Ms. Stark claims she let the defendant borrow her car and says wine was stolen after Ms. Mitchell left the car unattended with a smashed window. Ms. Stark, you're suing your cousin, Ms. Mitchell, for $510. And this represents the cost of two expensive bottles of wine? Yes, ma'am, with okay. sentimental value as with well. With sentimental value. So she says, can I borrow your car? What you need the car for? My car's in the shop. Your car was in the shop? Yes, it was time. in the shop, uh, and I had to go to work. She was, I have, I have borrowed her car before. Oh. So what happened this time when you borrowed the car? This time I was going to work, um, and I dropped her off at work beforehand. And so at a client, um, I parked it in, in the, the Navy Pier in Chicago. And, and you know, it's, it's guarded. It's got security. Uh -huh. um, and I went to go to my client. I came back, and the windshield was shattered. Um, and there was a sign on the windshield saying, Call Jasmine. I guess, you know, like something had happened with her company, like a, a weed whacker had Well, they were doing the lawn at near the, the Navy yeah, Yard. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. And like a rock had shattered her her passenger side window. I of course called her. I let her know, but I I was running late. I, mm -hmm. I had to go to another client after this. I'm okay. Like, hey. Okay. What did you say when she told you I've had this accident with the car, incident with the car? She was very, you know, apologetic right. about the situation, and I understood. But my issue was her leaving the car unattended. No, no. What was the conversation? This happened to the car. I need to run to my next appointment. Mm -hmm. What was the conversation? I begged her not to leave the car unattended. I asked, I was 15 minutes away. Right. I was like, can you not just wait the 15 minutes for me to get there? Right. I, I and to, she, I had to go to another client. I, I, I mean, it's honor, just sorry. always the same I, thing. Okay, with so you, but, but what, how did you end that conversation though? Um, she hung up on me from what I remember. Coming up. I believe they rolled underneath. So if they were free. These, these sentimental bottles of wine could just roll around in the back of the car.
You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Terry Stark, who is suing her cousin Donna Mitchell for property loss. But what was the understanding about what she was going to do? I was get well, so I said I was going to leave the car, and she was 15 minutes away. So I was like, I, I feel like it's fine, it's guarded. You know, like what else could happen? Uh, she she said, you know, check things, and I I checked the front seat, I checked the back seat, right. I checked. Did the you trunk. tell her to check the car for stuff? I did. I told did. her, please, like. If you can not, absolutely not wait for me to get there in right. 15 minutes, right. please make sure there's nothing in there. Because right. I knew I had maybe a couple things in there that I didn't want. Like what? Taken. I had two bottles of wine in if my car. If you knew you had them in there, why don't you say take the bottles of wine out of there? She didn't see them. I, I thought no, that... No, no, no. You said you, you told her to check the car because you knew you had stuff in there. Yes, ma'am. So when you said check the car, why didn't you say check for the bottles of wine that I have in there? That's a good point, Your I Honor. I probably should have let her know that. Right. Yes, And I where did not. were these bottles? Yes, they were in the back seat behind the driver's seat. Okay. And you never saw that? No, I never saw that, Your Honor. I want to ask a question, because in your statement, uh, Ms. Stark, you said that your cousin said that you should check under the seats of the car. Yes, Your Honor. I... She was upset that I hadn't checked under the seats of the car. Yes, because she had said, check the back seat. Right. So I was like, okay, I'll check the back seat. But I didn't think, like, oh, I'll, I'll check under the seats that you know because I didn't at really reading this statement I assume that that's where the bo bottles of wine were yes. so were they in the back seat or were they under the seats I believe they rolled underneath so they were free these these sentimental bottles of wine could just roll around in the back of the car you didn't seem to care that much about these bottles of wine judge Karen's verdict when supreme justice returns You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. What are these bottles of wine? What, you got pictures? I do, yes, Let me Your see Honor. Pictures. I do. I, um, I looked up a comparable wine and found the prices for those. No, 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 no. Comparable? Why would you give me something comparable and not show me a copy and price for the wine that was there? I was having a hard time finding my friend's family website. It's a family-owned company of my friends. Uh -huh. You have a friend mm -hmm. who gave you these, whose family owns a winery, and you cannot provide me even with the proof of the value of these. You haven't proved me anything about this wine. I don't even know if this wine was there. So, you know, the burden of proof is on you. It's not on me. I don't have to do all this work to figure out what happened. And when I don't know what happened, I either dismiss the case or rule for the other side. Judgment in, in favor of the defendant. Good luck to you both. All rise. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I honestly feel like I did nothing wrong, so I'm, I'm not surprised. Honestly, I... Guess my cousin will never learn and take accountability for things that happen in her life. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.